Yo, what is going on guys? Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to welcome you to my channel and to the second chapter of my first castle building series called the Siege of Bricks. If you haven't seen it yet, basically the Siege of Bricks is a collaboration built with my friend Edge of Bricks in which we want to show a battle between two medieval armies. One of them is attacking the city walls with their heavy weaponry and the other have to withstand the attack and make sure the walls will hold through the siege. If you want to see the attacker side, go check out the Edge of Bricks channel. He already uploaded a few parts of his build series when you can see his progress on the collab. I will put a link to his channel in the description of this video so you can get the full picture of what are we doing. As for the city itself, you can already see the start of the build in the last chapter and how the borders of the mock are going to look like. There may not seem to be much done in terms of progress made and that is because I've been out on holidays for a week. I had an opportunity to visit two beautiful castles that were very inspiring for the overall idea of the mock and for the future build process. I've seen many interesting structural solutions there that will greatly fit the mock so I guess that's something to look forward to. Oh, and I took some action with me as well, just for fun. Okay, now without further ado, let's jump into today's chapter of building the Siege of Bricks. So as you can see I have some rock work down on the side of the mock. The terrain is basically finished here. I really like how the snow turned out covering the ground. I especially like the snow hanging from the rocks which I made using horns and this sort of new white spear pieces. It is the first time I'm doing a winter mark so it's a new experience for me but I think I'm getting a hang of it. There is also some foliage here and there sticking out of the snow which is slowly fading away. As for the walls and the tower on the other hand, they are just still prototypes. I have much work to do with them in terms of detailing, but for now they give me a sense of scale and the general look of the mock. The top of the wall is what makes me smile already because the crenellations turn out great. I especially like the matriculations, which are these holes right here, that allows archers to shoot to enemies that came too close to the wall. I still need to make the top of the wall with a walkway for the soldiers, but I think more of that will be present in the next episode. Now moving to the other side of the build, I didn't make much progress here because I simply ran out of parts, both for the rock work and the path that will go below the city walls. I already ordered and received the parts I need to finish this section, but more of that in a minute. The plan is to make a similar rock pattern as I have done on the other side and combining it with the dirt path. I would like to put a small tree here somewhere, but it all depends on how much space will I have for it. And if not a full size tree, then maybe some mountain pine, which actually could be a better solution. We'll see. Now that you've seen the progress I already made, let's see what will help me in the following weeks. I got two pretty decent brickling orders that will allow me to finish the rockwork and rebuild the walls. Most importantly, I got dark bluish grey slopes in different variations. I got these 2x1x3 by by slopes, which lately are somehow very hard to come by in Poland, but I managed to get 40 of them, along with 30 of the inverted ones. Additionally, I got some 3x1 and 4x1 slopes and a few curved ones that I will use to make the top of the rocks and to throw in here and there on other sides using the snap technique. Next in line are light bluish grey elements I got for the walls. Some cheese slopes which I need a lot of for the irregular shape of the build as well as for the crenellations and another very important part to use for the matriculations which are these 1x6 arch pieces. I also got a few plates and headlight bricks since I might need them for the walls. For the pet I took quite a few wedge plates which I hope will be enough to finish it. I still got a few others left in my collection, so it should be okay. And last but not least are some white parts for the snow that I'm slowly running out of. Oh, and two crossbows in case I will get some more soldiers. And I just couldn't resist getting these guys. I think they will use them for crenellations or something.
Anyway guys, this concludes today's episode. To sum up, I got some progress done and even finished some of the work on the right side of the mock, but most importantly for future building, I got a lot of parts that should help me finish the rock work on the left side and maybe the path too. I've also got a lot of inspiration from watching real life castles and browsing the internet in search of what other people were building, so my head is full of ideas and I am eager to work. Next I want to finish up the mountain and start rebuilding the wall as it should be looking, that is with a lot of details. If you made it this far, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel so you can be up to date with the progress that I made. And if you have some ideas or questions about the build, just let me know down in the comments. After all, I do this video so you can be a part of this little plastic adventure of mine. With all that said, I hope to see you all in the next chapter, here on Cube Brick.